Hi, this video is going to show about our new 8x9 edge to mesh switcher. So here we have the setup. Basically right now this is the, our mesh switcher and you can see on the front panel we have the LCD screen which is to choose the version information and the bar read of the OS232 and also the default IP address. Then we have the uh, input and output buttons here. Basically we have 8 input buttons. Then for the output button we have uh, night output buttons for the switching it's actually we call it um, 2k two button switching so basically we just let the inputs then press the output button then we can finish the switching so we can check it on the screen so this is how we do the switchings on the from uh, push buttons of the input and output on this side we have the control buttons including the up down edid save and recall and also here we have the IR sensor. So basically, you can just use this IR remote control for the switchings. Basically, it's all going to be the same if you want to switch the input one to the output. Uh, th one, two, three, we can just press the input button first, then press the output button. Then we can finish the switchings. We don't need the extra buttons like the enter or switch those buttons. We call it uh, two button switching. Basically, you can pretty fast and then uh, input one two up one two three because this one is actually not the semi switching so it will take about uh, two two uh, three four se three seconds for the switching time also we can switch the uh, presets save and recall and also the uh, input one to or output for shortcut switchings like input two to or outputs. Input one to or outputs. So this one is uh, the IR remote control. Except this one, we also got the uh, backside. They have the connections that check up. So let's check out on the back side of the connections. So basically we have the uh, power on and off button here, then the uh, DC power supply with the screw connector, and the uh, IP control, which we can connect to the web browser. And we have three OS32 ports here. So basically, and for the uh, this one and this one, we can control this mattress feature, but this one we can control the other devices. And here we have the uh, output buttons, output, HDMI output. Basically, we have nine HDMI outputs. Then we have the output one with the 3.5 audio embedded. And then we have uh, eight HDMI inputs and the grounding wear screen. So this is the uh, mattress switcher itself. And the, except this one, we are going to show you how to use the web UI for the controllings. Okay, so just because right now I have this uh, line cable connected to the Wi-Fi router here. And also this is the uh, speaker here, which is the, the embedded audio from this uh, output one. So we just turn up the volume. So we can hear the sound is coming up. And this is my PC, and I also using the line cable connected to the Wi-Fi router. So basically, I can just control from the web UI directly. From the web UI, basically, we can log in with our default IP address uh, 192.168.1.80. Then, before we log in, we have we need to uh, type the username and password here. Both are the same admin. After we log in, then we will jump to the home page. On the home page, we have the input buttons and eight input buttons. As you can see here, we have the indicators on the input. So we have the uh, input one and two are active. So we have these indicators are in green. Like input three is actually not active. So we, we have a green indicator here. So for the switching, we just simply press the input, then press the output. We also can hear the beep signs coming out from the battery switcher. Then we can finish the switching. Okay, and they accept this one. We, as we can see, the input one, we have a different name, and the output night also have a different name. So we can just go to the caption tab here, so we can change the name of the input output. And also here is actually for the control, for the control, and we can control the audio devices by the Oscilloscope too. So we can fill up the commands here. Then we can just use the uh, 
control buttons here to control the other devices. And then we have the EDID tab. EDID tab, basically we can set up the EDID for the uh, not eight input buttons, including the uh, building EDID, or we can just read from the nine outputs for every inputs. Setup tab, basically we can set up the IP address and the battery, and also the bother. The bother means the beep sound when we switch in the metric switcher. And over the language, choose English or Chinese. And our account is for us to change the username and password and log out. So this is the web GUI control for the metric switcher. Except using the where line cable connect to the metric switcher directly, but we also can just have the metric switcher connect to the Wi-Fi router. So we can just use the application control or the web GUI from the uh, tablet directly. So here's Android uh, tablet. Basically, we can just use the browser after we have it connected to the Wi-Fi router. So we just enter the name, password here. Then we can click enter. Then uh, the username and password are the same admin. Click submit. Then now we're ready in it. Okay, I'll just zoom a little bit so we can see the full screen. So now I'm going to just going to uh, switch the uh, input one to the output three and four, and then we have the input two. Switch back, or we can just have this one to all the outputs. Okay, so this one is using the Android tablet with the uh, MCS application. Except this one, we also can just use the uh, iOS, the uh, iPad. So iPad, basically, we can just do the same. We can just use the MCS application control, or we can just use the web browser. So this is the application control. It will be just the same as the uh, Android tablet. And then we also can just use the Google Chrome and then we type the IP address of the metric switcher. It's the same thing. All right. Okay, so this is how we use uh, different iPad, Android, and web browser. Also, we can just put the asterisk two commands to generate our metric switcher with the 30 bar country, including the uh, AMX, Cranston, Control 4, and all those population uh, control system. And this is the uh, speakers to de embed the audio from the output one. We can just try to switch the out. So if you want to hear the sound which is coming up from the output two, uh, output one. And just turn up the volume and check out. Switch back to the uh, input 2. Okay, thank you.